everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining us in this discussion about the Quantum Matter 2023 International Conference. So, um, Stefan, what are the key objectives of this year's edition of the Quantum Matter Conference? Okay. First of all, the Quantum Matter Conference is a unique platform for various communities to meet together and uh, discuss about the latest advances, the challenges and the future development of quantum science and technology at large. Um, but we have, a, we have a focus on quantum materials, quantum information and quantum technologies. Uh, this year we have, uh, we're very privileged because we have one of the pioneers of the prediction of uh, qubits, which is the, the building block of quantum computers, um, Professor Daniel Oz from the University of Basel, which just gave the opening plenary lectures. But we also have representatives from the big, biggest company in the world, uh, which are involved in the development of quantum computing technology, such as IBM, Google, uh, and Microsoft. Um, we also have a lot of smaller companies that are developing hardware for these technologies uh, which are participating to our exhibition hall and, uh, and a lot of students also participating to this conference and this is very important also for, for Spain because um, we are training a new generation of students and uh, they, they can connect with companies, with academics uh, internationally. The conference is also very international with people from Singapore, from China, from the US, Canada, Chile, Israel. So that's also, I think, a kind of unique event in Europe uh, this year. So exactly, what are the, the unique opportunities that the conference offers to the attendees? Well, I think that the unique opportunities are first uh, to meet together, networking, uh, there are these different research groups in Spain and also out from Spain. Uh, there are also uh, the participation, there is the participation also of companies, which is also interesting to interact the companies with the, with the research, basic research, but I think that it is very important this, uh, I would say, interaction between different co uh, uh, communities. You know, you can speak about uh, uh, superconducting qubits, uh, semiconductor qubits, uh, topological uh, quantum computation, and I think that from this uh, interaction uh, come the great ideas. So I think that is the best uh, thing of this conference. So this uh, conference also hosts an industri industrial forum to present the national applications of um, research in quantum materials. So could you tell us a little bit more about this forum? So it's, uh, as, uh, uh, as the others were saying, it's really important that other companies can join us in, uh, in these scientific committees and these scientific uh, discussions because in the end we are developing new technology, we are developing new tools and for that we need the industry to take these prototypes and scale them up and that's why we are also organizing this industrial forum because we want to hear the voice of industry to see what are the challenges, what are the state of the art of the technology and what are the opportunities also for the community because there is the part of basic science but then this basic science has to evolve towards the application. So we will discuss all these, all these terms in, in the industrial forum which we will see uh, very exciting um, discussions uh, about the scientific part, but also about the challenges that industry faces in quantum technologies. Thank you. Um, you represent the, or some of the organizers and the partner institutions. So what are the initiatives and the fields of research in quantum matter that your organization are currently leading? Well, in my, my particular case, uh, the IPC, the Donosti International Physics Center, so there's, um, I would say, a very uh, strong initiative about quantum sciences and technologies in the Basque Country, and we are the center that are actually coordinating that. So there's um, what we call the ICUR, which is the Basque name for flagship uh, in Basque uh, strategy that is developing that. And this includes uh, many different uh, perspectives, uh, in particular about quantum computing, and this also includes, uh, I would say, an ambitious uh, collaboration agreement that was recently signed with uh, IBM. And I think, again, I'm going into the direction of uh, what my uh, colleagues, they have already said, that uh, I think uh, quantum sciences and technologies, this is a, a field in which basic research is really important, so it's, it's fundamental, but the connections to industry, they are also very relevant because the gap, let's say, between uh, uh, fundamental research and applications is uh, shrinking very much. Yeah, in, in the case of, 
of, uh, of quantum Spain. So we are a very big initiative that involves all the supercomputing centers in, in Spain and it's coordinated by the BSC. And the main idea is to install a quantum computer in, the, in our facilities and offer this access to everybody in Spain and in Europe that wants to use this, uh, this kind of devices. So it's really important that we have in Spain this kind of initiatives that are public uh, because it, it helps the community to continue evolving and to continue using a technology that is still in their infancy somehow. So in, the, in that sense, uh, we are very happy that the, the companies that uh, will deliver this quantum computer are Kilimanjaro and GMV. Both of them are Spanish companies, but at the same time, all the technology comes from Europe. So it's also very important in the European perspective that the technology that uh, we are pursuing, there are also uh, companies here in Europe that can do that, and that can deliver this kind of technology. So in that sense, uh, we are also happy to be one of the main nodes of the European quantum computing and simulation infrastructure, which will be one of the six quantum computers installed in Europe with uh, European technology. And the main idea is that uh, everybody in Europe will have the capacity to try different technologies and different applications, no matter which country they belong, and especially proving different kinds of these technologies and, and platforms. So it's really exciting that in Spain they have these initiatives, and on top of that we have masters that I'm sure Gloria can uh, talk about the one at CSIC, but then in Barcelona we have the, the Master in Quantum Science and Technology that involves many institutions, uh, all the institutions in Barcelona area, and then in the Basque Country as well we have a, a very interesting and important master, so, so it's, really, it's a really good uh, moment for the Spanish ecosystem. Well, I think that uh, in the Spanish Research Council, CSIC, uh, there is an important initiative with this, which is a platform for quantum nanotechnologies and it coordinates, uh, it's a network from uh, different groups, in fact many groups uh, in the Spanish Research Council who work in quantum technologies, working in quantum computation, uh, quantum optics and also quantum simulation, uh, topological uh, computation. And, uh, and then also in this, uh, through this network we organize a master uh, on quantum technologies uh, which uh, has already begun and has a lot of succeed and I think that uh, these uh, two things, this platform and also this master uh, is a good opportunity to, to also to uh, train uh, future researchers uh, in this field of quantum technologies. Okay, at ICN2, we are involved into the Spanish Quantum Communication Program, which is also a, a large um, network supported by, by Spanish authorities, similar to Quantum Spain. And uh, we are looking at the, the we are exploring the potential of um, two-dimensional two materials and van der Waals structure in order to control quantum information um, with, new, with new physical phenomena. So we are more like very uh, upstream research, but uh, very engaging to the field. So there are many initiatives uh, in Spain. So how do you believe uh, Spain is positioned in terms of uh, um, innovation and leadership in the international arena? So I think uh, Spain holds a, a very strong position. Uh, actually, I think many of the initiatives they have been already mentioned, so including Quantum Spain, the comp complementary plans, for instance, of the Ministry of uh, Science on, uh, and Innovation. Uh, there are several uh, regional initiatives uh, as well in all, in all this. So I think this really uh, gives the, well, the, the, the image of a, of a country that is very well uh, positioned in this. Let me also add, uh, at least to me, that there's also another important part, which is the um, strength of the materials sciences community uh, in Spain, which is a very strong community, and material sciences, this is una, one of the most important points in, in, in quantum computing. But let me also add, as a final point, that uh, uh, I think we, we all uh, would agree that uh, science and investment in science, this is a long-term always um, activity. I mean, uh, short-term, uh, let's say, investments, they usually they are not that uh, fruitful. So uh, I think that uh, for all of us, it's important, let's say, to keep this long-term uh, commitment. And I'm, I'm sure that all institutions also, they, they agree on this uh, goal that all of us, we, we already have in mind. Would you like to add something? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just to com complement what Ricardo was mentioning, uh, something that to me is remarkable in Spain is that we have a very close community, so we know each other, we collaborate quite often, 
and I think this, uh, this conference is a good example because it involves different institutions in, in, uh, that works in different parts of the quantum technologies. So I think it, we are well positioned uh, to attract talent, to retain this talent, and uh, we all hope that this is a long-term thing because we need to, to continue to push in that direction. That's a, that's a big challenge uh, ahead. As a follow-up of Alba, what Alba just said, I think that the conference is, uh, is also very important for the community in Spain because we are growing, the ecosystem is growing in, uh, in uh, all Spain, different part of Spain at the national level, the quantum Spain, the connection with Europe. Uh, we, are also, uh, we have also launched this new master, so we're training new generation of Spanish students uh, for, this, uh, for understanding and for being involved into these new science and technologies. And so the conference is, is a way, as a platform to gather all the communities together, I mean, extending to the international. And so that's a, that's a very important instrument for, for us uh, in order to show what we do mm -hmm. and also to, uh, to increase the networking uh, globally um, with uh, foreign countries. Well, as a conclusion, I would like to know of the talk or session you are most interested in, in, in and why. Well, I think that uh, I should say that the program is done in a very, in a very good way, in a, such a way that uh, you always uh, see a very interesting talks uh, in one session or in the other one. From my side, I, I was very enthusiastic with uh, this morning because it was this uh, professor Daniel Loss uh, speaking about the spin qubits. Uh, I know them and I, I know their work uh, for many years and I work in this topic as well. But also I was very much interested in the other talks where I am also beginning to work, like for instance, hybrid systems using uh, cavities, also with uh, superconducting qubits or another type of uh, qubits. So I think that uh, what I think it's important is that uh, you can take from different uh, uh, platforms uh, ideas and then I think that that is uh, how uh, research uh, uh, really is developed when you really are not close to a, to a topic or to a but uh, you see different platforms and then you can have uh, new ideas and that is uh, what I find very interesting from this conference. Cross contamination. Exactly, it's like a multidisciplinarity uh, within this uh, quantum technology uh, world, yeah? Well, I agree with that. I mean, I think this is a very complete uh, program, so I, I, I really love the, the whole of, of that. Let me add, I mean, from my point of view at least, I'm very curious about the uh, companies, um, let's say research from companies, because this is something in which I'm less exposed usually to that, so I'm very curious to see that. And let me also add that uh, uh, I think the poster session also is something very interesting always, right? Because there you see the young people, the ones that they are starting to work in the field, and sometimes you, you see perhaps work with uh, less uh, impact that really shows you the, well, many of the details that uh, they are doing. So I'm also very eager to attend the, the, the session. Yeah, in my case, uh, I mean, it's quite of a privilege to hear uh, these uh, open, uh, open uh, and keynotes from, uh, from the fathers and mothers of, of this community. But at the same time, of course, I'm looking forward to the, especially to the industrial roundtables, because I would like to see how are the different opinions and challenges that completely different companies that try to address different challenges around quantum technologies, they are, in which way they are facing them. So I'm really looking forward to hear uh, what they say about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm also very f uh, excited by, by all the program, actually, and especially for of the industrial forum. But I would like to, to just add that uh, next, next year, uh, we have decided to extend uh, the, the, the duration of the conference. Uh, and so I think we can have more, even, even more, more exciting even more. topics and, and talks. And that, uh, that shows that, uh, I mean, the, the decision that was, uh, I mean, the, the initiative that was taken um, uh, by Basque Country and the APSA um, uh, a few years ago to, to launch a new conference series has been a, a great success. Mm -hmm. So we can already say that next year it will be in Donostia, right? It will be in Donostia, San Sebastian. Mm -hmm. uh, right. We can confirm that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your time and your thoughts. And uh, so enjoy the rest of the conference. And you stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.